In this video, we'll demonstrate how to bind a RAD combo box to an array and an array list. We'll do this by adding two RAD combo boxes to the project. Then, we'll create both an array and an array list and populate them with two different sets of data. Then, we'll display the results. We begin our project by creating a new ASP.NET AJAX-enabled website. And if you don't already have this template, the last frame of the video will contain a link where you can go get it for yourself on the Internet. And we use this template because it automatically places an ASP script manager component onto the form for us. And what that component does is it maintains communication between the AJAX-enabled components that we'll be using and the web application. So we will add two rad combo boxes and a little bit of annotation to our form. And the first one will get a web 2.0 skin. And then we will call this an array of colors. And then we'll add a second rad combo box. And we will likewise give that the Web 2.0 skin. And we will add an annotation to that, that it is an array list of fruits. Next, we'll switch over to our code behind page. And the first thing we'll do is add something called bind to array, a method that creates an array and then populates it with several different colors, the colors of the rainbow, sets it as the data source of our rad combo box one, and then data binds it. The second thing that we need to do then is add an array list method that is going to create an array list of these seven different kinds of fruits, set that as the data source, this time for rad combo box two, and then data bind it. And you see that the application does not yet know what an array list is, and that's because we need to tell it that we are using the system dot collections namespace, and now it's a lot happier. And then we will add our bind to array method call and also our bind to array list method call. And with that, the application's complete and we are ready to run. So if we start the application, we get our two combo boxes, the top one with colors and the bottom one with several different types of fruit. And so you can see that it's not difficult at all. In fact, it's almost trivial to bind data from an array or an array list to a rad combo box. Nevertheless, it's important to know how to do. For more Telerik videos, technical discussion forums, and examples, please go to www.telerik.com.